Okay. In 1947, driven by the indelible horrors of two world wars, a remarkable group of men and women gathered to draft the first International Bill of Rights. The newly formed United Nations commissioned the bill to ensure that the community of nations would never again allow massive violations of human dignity. Eleanor Roosevelt chaired the committee. Its resulting document was unprecedented. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights outlines in detail the fundamental freedom and human rights all men and women are entitled to, regardless. In December of 1948, the UN General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. There was no dissenting vote. The document was a pillar of a new international system. It warned that a nation's treatment of its own citizens was no longer immune from outside scrutiny and censure. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is the most translated document in the world. Many countries have it as part of their constitution. However, it is not fully read or understood. Here, where you are standing, is one of the few places in the world where the entire document is displayed. This declaration clarifies the subtle but important difference between human rights and civil rights. Human rights are the basic rights and freedoms that all people everywhere are entitled to. They assert that people in every country should be able to live with dignity and equality. Civil rights, on the other hand, are social and political freedoms granted by law only to the citizens of a specific nation. Often they fall short and can be manipulated. Take time to read the Declaration and reflect on our city, state, country, and world. We still have work to do. Booklets containing the entire Declaration in simplified text for youth and in English and Spanish are available free at the Idaho Human Rights Education Center.